Good morning all, camelbacktrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, March 17th. We are looking at the market profiles of these three different ETFs here on Window Trader. Happy St. Patty's Day and today's the day. As Jay Powell takes center stage on St. Patrick's Day. We'll see if he's going to bring any luck or is he going to put a damper on this market? Right now, as you can see, pre-market, all the indices trading lower. Again, there's 75 minutes to go prior to the opening. Things are gonna change dramatically today, but right now we'll have to trade what's in front of us until he speaks. Um, we're looking at gap lower in the SPY, triple Qs, Russell's right at its day's low. From yesterday, you see this very visual area. We had the price probe, which was battled yesterday in SPY. They basically defended it. Here's the other area from the 15th, A's high, M's low, where change took place. We dipped into it a couple of times, but haven't seen it since then. Well, right now, we're trading below it pre-market as we're making new lows in the pre-market session. There's really nothing until the 15th low and the 12th low. I told you these destinations are far and wide apart. So if people want risk off prior to Powell speaking, you can get a pretty good push down. Now again, I'm not saying a gap can't hold prior to him speaking, um, but it's rare that we see gaps that hold prior to the Fed. It's rare that we see trend days that hold. But again, those are all just odds. So let's go over destinations and a game plan early. So right now, for the upside, uh, Got to give you yesterday's low on both sides. So 395.08. Right now we're trading about 70 cents lower than there. If we gap lower, 395.08 will be our first destination to the upside. Then we have 396.75, our overnight high. 397.38, H is high from yesterday, afternoon rally high. All three of these indices have that afternoon rally high. And then 397.83 yesterday's high and all-time high. If we don't gap lower, then our first destination on the downside, again, will be yesterday's low of 395.08. Right now, our pre-market low is 394.31. But we're trading just above it, so there's a good chance that could trade change in the next 75 minutes. Then again, below that, we don't have anything to 392.03, which is the 15th low, 391.20, daily low from the 12th, and 389.68, that 11 wide naked park from March 10th. And we might as well give a couple more on the downside in case this market really wants risk off after he speaks. 388.89, afternoon pullback low from March 10th, 388.17, daily low, 385.31, daily low. So game plan for this morning. So right now the volume is pretty light, 350,000, although there's still 75 minutes to go. We do have to trade what's in front of us. So if this market gaps lower and the gap is less than a dollar, again, we're going to have lower value. I look to take a short against the gap. If the gap fills, out of that trade and we reassess because if the gap fills, you're basically back, going to start getting into value and there's really nothing much to the upside, right? The destinations are far and wide apart. So don't let this market fool you because short-term traders can move this market a lot further than we give them credit for. So just stay alert if things change. If you stop one time framing down, um, if you fill the gap, these are things you need to keep an eye on. So right now, early play of a gap of a dollar or less, I would look to take a short play out if it fills. If it doesn't fill and we get acceptance below A's high and M's low from the 15th, again, there's not much below us so you can get more of a push down. As far as a call play, again, not much right now with lower value and a gap lower, but if we open with a gap, fill the gap, and then start one time framing up in B period, no problem getting on uh, board a long play to take this right back because there's nothing really much to the upside. Again, these are just early plays. Come into CamelbackTrading.org's voice channel room. You get this play-by-play -play all day while all three of these indices are live streamed for you for no extra cost, by the way. Now, on the chart, just going to show you the daily. The daily was up 
If we take out yesterday's low, we will be back to balance. So the bulls worked hard to get month monthly's been up, weekly's balance. I've been telling you I'm keeping that in balance to the end of the week, and daily was up. But right now, right now, it would be back in balance if we take out yesterday's low. And one final note. Again, I say this constantly, but if you trade for a living, there's no big deal if you don't trade for an hour or so. Two o'clock with the announcement, that's not the big picture, although the algos will probably go wild, at least initially. It's his press conference at 2.30 and the Q&A afterwards. So remember, you don't want to become a train wreck on this day. You do this for a living. It's the money you keep, not the money you make. Good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.